There are hundreds of writing systems in the world. Some of these are commonly known, like our Latin alphabet, the Arabic alphabet, Egyptian hieroglyphics, and Chinese characters. But what do you know about the Persian Arabic alphabet? The Latin alphabet and eventually the Greek alphabet descended from the Phoenician alphabet. However, the Greek alphabet is not the only descendant of the Phoenician alphabet. The Arabic alphabet you see in this poem was developed from the same script around the beginning of our era. However, it has undergone such profound changes that it can hardly be seen anymore. For example, the shapes of the Arabic letters have been adapted with more flowing lines to make them easier to write with ink on papyrus. Since its inception, the Arabic alphabet has spread rapidly throughout the world as it was often adopted by societies converted to Islam. As a result, it has also been used for languages that have very little in common with the Arabic language. This poem, Good Journey, for example, is written in Persian, a language that is not at all related to Arabic, but belongs to the same linguistic family as, for example, Latin, Greek, and even Dutch and English. Because the script was used for such different languages, it was often adapted a little when it was adopted for other languages. For example, the Persian Arabic script you see in this poem has created four new letters for sounds that do not appear in the Arabic language, but they do in Persian. Those are the p, g, j, and ch. You've just seen that the Arabic script looks different in different languages. In another video, we'll see how this works in Urdu.